secrets between us. That being said, there are some things you should probably know. Dun dun dun! Well, you already know how I feel about Disney. The cat ripped its way out of the bag on that one. I adore Pixar and DreamWorks as well. My life goal is to have a dragon named Huggles. So, yeah. Be very afraid. Is it any wonder why I and so many others enjoy their films though? They mean this, but also this. Whew, okay. Perhaps you should sit down for my next confession. See, I'm kind of addicted to Korean dramas. Okay, Korean anything. 안녕하세요. 미안해. 오빠. 사랑해. Fighting. Some might say it's a bit of an obsession, really. Do you know of anyone else who sings when they open a container of mung bean sprouts? Didn't think so. I'm also fond of Bollywood films. Kya tum muja se shari karogi? Between K-drama and Bollywood, I'm starting to wonder if I was born in the wrong culture. Not to mention the wrong time. Stories. This is why I write and act and watch, well, less than normal things. But they're far from useless. Thanks to Bollywood, I gave dancing a try and found I have a passion for it. And from what I've been told, I'm not half bad. But only with certain kinds of dancing, mind you. I recently heard about another form of dancing that I haven't tried yet. Called twerking? What? How? Oh. I think mine's broken. And if it weren't for Korean dramas, I probably wouldn't have learned how to use chopsticks. Did I forget to mention I like food? I want to be part of stories in any way possible. You might not be surprised then to hear I'm a gamer too. Only occasionally though, for pleasure and relaxation. Translation, when I'm stressed or frustrated and need to kill things. Stories that I write and read tend to lean more towards historical and or seafaring adventures. More often than not involving pirates. I've always had a love for the sea, and I find the history surrounding it, on it. I find everything about it absolutely fascinating. Don't judge. Speaking of killing things, ever heard of keel hauling? I tend to be a loner. Surprise! Oh, wait, you're not surprised? I'm perfectly content spending my free time at home doing creative things, watching movies, or reading. Not to say I never go out. I enjoy doing outdoor things like, but not limited to, going to the beach or on the range, going out for a meal with friends, or taking a spur of the moment trip. But see, I have this ticking clock in the back of my mind that keeps nagging me. There isn't time to waste. If I want to do something and be someone, all I'm guaranteed is now. No, that's not an excuse at all. Come on, you've seen me dance. And I talk to myself sometimes, too. Ha! Who am I kidding? Fine. I talk to myself a lot. It helps keep everything up here sorted. See, I have regrets in my life. There are things I wish I could take back or redo. 
mistakes I've made, people I've hurt, and vice versa. What I wouldn't give for a time machine. Where's a TARDIS new doctor when you need them? But my past is just that. The past. It is not me. It does not define who I am or determine who I will become. I have learned from it, sought and given forgiveness when needed, and moved on. Life isn't perfect. It's hard and messy. One thing fairy tales got right is that people can be cruel, and there will always be at least one person working against us. But in the end, it's our choice to let it affect us or not. Our decision to let it rob us of our hope, joy, and future. And I, for one, refuse to let it. I'm determined to have my dragon. I'm fairly certain you're not perfect either, my prince. So we already have one thing in common. Whatever your flaws may be, whatever mistakes you've made, they don't matter. I love you in spite of them. And always will. It doesn't make a difference what you have or don't have compared to other men. Other men are not you. Likewise, what I have or may not have compared to other women makes none of us better than the other or any less deserving of finding our prince. So yes, I'm ridiculous, cheesy, and nerdy at times. I wear my heart on my sleeve and my skin is a constellation of spots. Does that make me a Dalmatian? But I am not ashamed of who I am or what I've been through. The past reminds me that only I get to decide who I want to be. And that's why I'm waiting for you. That is the reason why I will love you and only you, my prince. Quirks and all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please show it some love. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. I'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite Disney songs?